don't get me wrong, I love Counter-Strike, but the game has a massive problem. And today, we're gonna be talking about it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Chubby here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're gonna be talking about how Valve just is doing a terrible job dealing with cheaters. And I know they've been doing a lot of things to try to deal with it, but everything they do just isn't working. And when you compare it to a game like Valorant, for example, that's a game, obviously the anti-cheat is a lot more intrusive and it has root access to your PC, but the game doesn't really have a cheating problem. And even if it does detect a cheater mid game, it just ends it right there, bans them on the spot, and it's not really a problem. Counter Strike has a system where if people get reported enough or if they get a high enough score, they go to Overwatch. And even then, even if they get put in Overwatch, the system just doesn't work. Speaking of which, now we have a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by the new and improved CSGO Atsy. Remember guys, 18 plus only and don't bet more than you can afford to lose. Check it out, they have plenty of games like Roulette, Jackpot, Crash, Blackjack, Wheel of Destiny, Knife Drop, Plinko, Coin Flip, Live Casino, Sports Betting, and Case Opening. There's a lot. And make sure to use code TurboMotionZ to get a free case plus a one-time bonus when you deposit. Let's get back to it. Earlier this year, actually, I did 69 Overwatch cases just to see how many people would get banned. Out of at least 65 cheaters, only two of them got banned, which in my opinion is a massive injustice. I mean, because Valve literally has this system that's in place to get rid of cheaters, but it doesn't do its job. It doesn't actually work. And it hasn't worked for quite some time. I know back in the day, it used to do a fantastic job, but I don't know if it's just like a bug in the system or if they just stopped updating it or whatever, or if cheaters just found ways to not go to Overwatch. But genuinely, if Valve wants to fix their game, they need to start taking a new approach to it because what they're currently doing just isn't working. Now, I'm not saying this to hate on Valve and I'm not saying like Counter-Strike's a bad game, like, cause I love the game. I've put over 6,500 hours into it. It's one of my most played games of all time because it's so much fun, because it's so competitive. It has such a high skill ceiling and everything about it is just incredible. Like nothing even comes close. I mean, like Valorant is just a cheap Chinese knockoff of it essentially, but obviously the cheating problem has gotten out of control and Valve really needs to do something about it and they need to stop it once and for all. So solution number one, they could obviously implement a more invasive anti-cheat that just works better and it can, it can ban people mid-game. But I don't really know if Valve would want to do that, just based on their stances on that kind of stuff. And solution number two is they could actually follow in Epic Games' footsteps and actually sue the people who make cheats for millions of dollars, put them out of business. But then obviously you have the problem of new people coming up and making more cheats. So it becomes kind of like a, a game of cat and mouse. And then also you have people who live overseas who Valve basically can't really do anything about. So it, it's overall a really complicated issue but it's something that has to be done in some way or another, whether it be a better anti-cheat or just more harsh punishments. Because I want Counter-Strike to be a fun game. I just want to hop on, have a good time, play with the team, and just have it be fair. Because cheaters ruin everything about Counter-Strike. They ruin the fun, they ruin the integrity. And honestly, when I, when I get into a cheater lobby, I usually just hop off for the night because I'm just like, no, not never again. <laughs> if you guys agree, just drop a like and let me know your opinion in the comments down below. On another side note, 64 tick servers in 2021 just don't cut it anymore as well. Because, I mean, the game is pretty outdated. When it first came out, only a couple people had 144 hertz monitors and everyone else played on 60 hertz. So obviously, 64 tick servers were more than good enough. But now that we have 240 and even 360 hertz monitors, it just doesn't cut it anymore. The only way to get the full CS experience is to play on either Facer or ESEA, so third party services. Official Valve servers are literally the worst across the board. More cheaters, of course, a really bad anti-cheat, and also the fact that it only runs on 64 tick servers. I mean, I know Valve has never really cared about Counter-Strike, it's just been a cash cow to them. Dota 2 is their real baby, because that's where they have the $30 million tournaments, and that's where they put all of their love and appreciation into. But CSGO is now the number one game on Steam. It has beaten Dota 2 by a lot in terms of player count. And I think the game deserves more respect. And I'm speaking on behalf of the entire CS community. Because Counter-Strike has always taken a back burner to Dota 2. A less popular, less profitable game. It just doesn't make any sense. I, as a fan of Counter-Strike, I'm speaking out and I'm just saying that I want the game to be the best it can possibly be. Get rid of the cheaters, upgrade the servers, make it better, or straight up just release CSGO 2, I don't care. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. See ya.